Lola Falana, you're a regular on the Bill Cosby show. Have you worked with Bill before? No, never, but I, I, we're both from Philadelphia, and I met him uh, many years ago. Of course, I was just a child then. And uh, <laughs> uh, I see him now and then on the road, you know, in passing. And I know his wife and family, beautiful people. You um, traveled and worked a lot with Sammy Davis, and uh, I heard you talking about uh, some of the advice that he gave you. Yeah. Well, Sammy uh, is probably the, one of the best friends I have. And I, I'm, aside from being the only teacher of this business I really, really have had, aside from experience being the greatest, Sammy has taught me so many things. Most of all, to respect your audience above all. Respect your talent. Um, I guess the word is respect. Uh, the most difficult thing is to go out every show, every night, every week, every year of your life and be great because it's not possible. You'll be good, some nights you'll have a little slow starter, whatever, but the most important thing is to make sure that when you come off, you, your audience at least likes you, you know, because uh, one time I went out and I did a show and I really wasn't up to par and he said to me, you never know who's in an audience. It could be the most important person to your life, and that's the night you go out there and you're not good. So when you really feel that you can't do your very best, don't go out there. If you feel you can make it and you yourself know, then you go ahead. It isn't fair to your audience. It's not fair to yourself, your audience. It could be a night a journalist decides to drop in and catch you for the second time after your opening night, and you'll say, whew, she sure fell down since <laughs> opening night. You know, and a lot of times they don't come backstage and talk to you so you can at least give me an excuse. They just go out and they write, you know. You were saying you have a great philosophy of life, I think. Uh, you know, when you get up each day to, to yeah. make it count. Yeah, I think not. If you get up every day and you take the days for granted, one day, those days, they're going to look you straight in the eye and say, well, you misused me and here goes the rerun. Because if I get up today and I don't care about it, I get up tomorrow and I don't care about it, and it just goes on, the time's going to run out. And then one day it's going to come along and I'm bored and, I'm, and I really don't have anything going for me. And I'm going to say, well, if I could live it all over again, I would go at it, you know. And, but you can never do that. There is no returning. So while you have the time, while you have the energy, while you have whatever it needs to make it, do it. Because another generation is coming along and it's their turn and you must move away and step aside. And um, my thing is make every day count. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life. Ah, that's great. <laughs> Have you worked with Foster Brooks before that's on the show? No. No, and in fact, um, the only person I really know from the show is Cosby himself, uh, George Slaughter, Mark Warren, people in the productive end. The actual performers... Look at these fingernails. <laughs> I thought I had long ones. Are those real? Well, yeah. <gasps> what do you do, huh? How do you... <laughs> now, now... Do you do dishes or anything like that? Well, I wash no two dishes, there. two cups, and everything. It's just me and my husband. I put my gloves on. Always gloves, because when they get water soaked, it's awful. You put at least six, seven, eight coats of polish on top. Get some clear polish, put it under the bottom. And keep the water away from them. And it makes them strong, you know? Do you drive? I get mine caught in the horn or something, you know, and then no, I'm I in trouble. Drive. Oh, I drive like a race car you driver. You keep gloves on when you drive? Mm-mm. I drive like I'm on the track. Love you to speed? Drive. You don't speed, Lola. Of course not. <laughs> Listen, your husband's an entertainer, isn't he? Yes, an adorable one. He's, uh, every day I talk to him on the phone, I say, the women try to get you? You see, yeah, I just tell them you're not better than my wife, so I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> and how about your family now? You have uh, Four brothers, one sister, two brothers sing. One is also an artist and uh, an actor. Very good looking, if I might say so myself. <laughs> now, you sing and dance. Do you have to exercise to keep the slim, trim figure? Yes. You know something? Most people, I mean, they go on diets, and diets are fine. It's just one way to help you maintain a healthy physical body. But exercise, without it, you might as well get yourself a vegetable bin and crawl in because that's what you'll become, a vegetable. Muscle is what keeps the body healthy. Muscle is what keeps the skin up. If I'm in, in the house or something and I have little things to do, like when I wash dishes sometimes, two dishes, of course. When I wash a dish or something, I put my leg like... Can we stand up? up? Can, can we stand like up? That. Can you show? Come on, Lola, stand can, up. You, oh, she's so cute here. Show how you do it. <clears throat> okay, ladies, watch this carefully. <laughs> you washing your dishes? <laughs> Get a massage afterwards. Put your leg up on the sink like that. 
And you have it rested on a sink, of course, so it doesn't hurt you so much. If you have to go in a cabinet, instead of just squatting sort of like that, just bend over like that and get what you want, and it pulls back here. Or else hold your body up and go down like that and get what you need and stretches in here. If you have to uh, get things off the shelf, then just do that. Sort of lift your body up and stretch and take what you want off. In the meantime, you're pulling and you're lifting. You're getting things done, you know. While you're on a phone, you can roll your feet and it's good exercise. You can, um, you can do it exercise. Roll your head you around like that while you're you have just... fun, huh? Sure. And you have a figure like Lola Falana. We'll be looking for you on the Bill Cosby <laughs> Show. Thank you, Lola. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.